11 frames to 9, Patsy Fagan leads Doug Monk, George and Ray. And so we come to the 21st frame of this 23 frame final for the United Kingdom Professional Snooker Championship 1977 with breaking off here, Doug Mountjoy, trailing by two frames against the 26 year old Irishman now at the table, Patsy Fagan. Fagan making his debut into top flight snooker and indeed on television requires this one frame for the title. He's played some brilliant snooker throughout the final keeping the more experienced Mountjoy tied up, potting when necessary. Mountjoy, on the other hand, has played extremely well, but hasn't been able to overcome this young man who has nothing to lose One. and is out to take the title. Mountjoy, who has disposed of the world snooker champion, John Spencer, and indeed, controversial Alex Hurricane Higgins on his way to this final. The more experienced of the two players is now in a very disadvantaged situation, trailing by two frames, requiring three to take the title to add to his Six. already Benson and Hedges Masters title. Seven. Twelve. <laughs> Thirteen. Just takes the red away from the black. <laughs> Twenty. Doug has split the reds all over the table. If he can gain position, he could be in for a big break. But not like that. 21, Doug Mountjoy. Obviously disgusted with himself. <coughs> as the young Irishman, Southern Ireland's professional snooker champion, turned professional just 12 months ago. One. Onto the blue, the reds so nicely split. Six. This is the frame that Fagan is looking for to give him the United Kingdom title and a first prize of some two thousand pounds. Seven. Pink into the top. Playing with great confidence. Thirteen. He's unlucky. Just caught the red as he was coming across the table. Playing the green is a 
करवाना And so Fagan goes into the lead with that pink. Twenty-four. Twenty-four points to twenty-one, requiring this frame. Twenty-five. Great performance by this twenty-six-year-old Irishman. Thirty-one. A steady rate. Thirty-two. To give himself the black. Forty. Break now, forty. And still four, it's there. Mountjoy must be seeing the title slide away from him as Fagan here takes red colour. Red colour, and there is a rather dejected Doug Mountjoy. Forty-eight. <laughs> Fifty-four. He's looking at the scoreboard, in fact. Fifty-four points to twenty-one. Thirty-three points in front, <clears throat> and in fact three reds on, which means there's a possible fifty-one points on the table. <clears throat> Fagan here has joined the one-four-seven club. He's made. A maximum break of 147, and has throughout his brilliant amateur career made and compiled some 1,000 snooker centuries. <clears throat> and the silver trophy that goes with it. Sixty-three. He now has to get position on this last difficult red. Bad luck for Fagan, but he now leads, as you see, 63 points to 21, 42 points in front, and in fact only 35 points on the table. This last red, the black, and all the colours. Doug Mountjoy, the Benson Hedges Masters champion, the runner-up in pot black this year, has to be content, I feel, certainly at the moment, with second place in the United Kingdom Professional Snooker Championship for 1977. Doug, who has been professional now for some three years, has had a brilliant run in his professional career. But the young men in snooker today must come forward, and surely we shall see a lot more of the 26-year-old Irishman, Patsy Fagan. 
A good snooker from Mount Joy there. Fagan, of course, will take good care not to leave a free ball if he misses the red. For a free ball could give extra points to Mountjoy. Now, as I say that, I am ridiculed completely. Ball. A complete change Look, of Joy, fortune. Seven, seven points and away to start ball. with and a free ball. It puts Mountjoy back into this frame. Fagan, 63, 63, Joy, 28. 28. A difference of 35 points and Mountjoy with a free ball, which means he can take any colour he likes. It'll count one point. He's then onto a colour and then back onto the red. Thoughts of Doug Mountjoy are at the moment unprintable. Where's the cue ball going? No, we're all right. Mountjoy here can still tie. He can take this red, the black, and all the colours. 35 points in it. 35 points on the table. Struggling to stay in the final. That is, the final of the United Kingdom Professional Snooker Championship being played here at the Tower Sackers Blackpool for the first time in many, many years. And there is a very cool, calm and collected 26-year-old Irishman looking forward to another few moments when he hopes he will be able to pick up a cheque for £2,000 and the title of UK professional snooker champion. Tempting the snooker. <coughs> Mount Joy, of course, cannot afford to miss this red. Didn't think he could see it, but obviously he could. He's left almost a Chinese snooker. That is, that Fagan has got to get right over the top of the blue. That's unlucky for Mountjoy. The Reds caught the look of the pocket and set the balls up for this young Irishman. 
to clean up, in fact. All balls. Nicely spaced on the table. One. This championship, sponsored by Super Crystal Aid, makers of the world's billiard balls, offering a first prize of £2,000 to the winner, £1,400 to the runner. <coughs> And it is the young Irishman, Patsy Fagan, here, who, on his way to this final, defeated his fellow countryman, Jack Ray, and then took care of the former world champion, Fred Davis. He went on to defeat Jim Meadowcroft Ken. and then John Virgo to finally fight out this final against the Welshman, Doug Mountjoy. Thirteen. That is not so clever. Seventeen. Not that Patsy Fagan is now worried. <coughs> needing eighty points to twenty-eight, and needing just this frame for the title. He is there. Plays a snooker. And in fact, Mountjoy has conceded, like the sportsman that Mountjoy is, the champion then for the United Kingdom. 1977 is the 26-year-old Irishman, Patsy Fagan, who now lives in London. The presentation being made by the one and only Joe Davis. I'm sure you will agree with me in the most exciting contest. And I must congratulate Mr. Fagan on winning this event. This is his major, his first Into the major picture there comes champion. promoter Mike Watterson. I think he should be congratulated on winning this first event. <laughs> And so it is. Commiserations to Doug Mountjoy of Wales. I commiserate with Doug Mountjoy. He's had tremendous success in the last two or three years, and uh, he's not been disgraced by any means here in this competition this week. He's played magnificently, and it's a pity that there haven't been two winners. That's all I've got to say. But there's always got to be a loser. I had many second prizes. <laughs> and uh, but I, I well remember the uh, United Kingdom Billiards Championship that we used to have. We didn't have a snooker championship, uh, and I lost the Billiards Championship uh, to Walter Lindrum. And when he won it, he was taking the cue back to the cup back to Australia, and he said, "Well." I shan't let this leave Australia when I get it back there. So then they formed the United Kingdom Billiards Championship. But I don't remember anything like a cup. I don't think the Billiards Association had enough money to buy a cup in those days. The chairman of the association, I know, he lived somewhere around Trafalgar Square, but I think he was never able to travel much further than Leicester Square. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, uh, we had a lot of fun, and I don't know what's happened to the trophy. I think my brother won it the last time, and if he gets hold of anything, he keeps it, I can promise you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Wonderful show. You put up a great more important thing than that, that uh, round the back door in a moment, he'll receive a cheque for £2,000. Now that's worth having. And of course, Mountjoy is only going to get a cheque for £1,400. So he's got no need to shed any tears. <laughs> anyway, now ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you uh, Mr. 
Jim Cameron, the managing director of the Composition Billiard Ball Supply Company, and the man that's responsible for making these super crystallate snooker balls. Here he is, this is Jim Cameron. Thank you, Joe. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're very glad to come here and to have taken our part in the Super Crystal Lake United Kingdom Professional Snooker Championships. Uh, our uh, appreciation goes to both players for giving us such an exciting and eventful snooker final. We have seen really interesting snooker all week.